What's up? It's China Eastern, and today I'm going to give you the top three reasons why everybody ain't a model. So here it is. I'm going to say the number one reason why everybody ain't a model is their stats. Granted, there are many different types of modeling and different categories of modeling. The type of modeling that I'm talking about is the kind that you see here. That type of modeling is very specific. They want the model body types to be like their sample sizes, which are usually around zero to two or sometimes four. And they want their models to be tall, so like five nine or taller, uh, and not taller than six feet for women. The next two reasons come from the fact that when people see a tall, beautiful girl, or just a tall girl in general, and she's skinny, they just be like, oh, do you play basketball or volleyball? Or are you a model? You should totally model. Okay, okay, okay. Let's slow it down a bit, okay? Just because you're tall and you're skinny or you're beautiful doesn't make you a model. So it brings me to number two. It takes a lot of drive. Okay, you could have an agent, right? You could have an agent, agency, but your work shouldn't just stop at them sending you stuff. Like when you go to a photo shoot, it's best to network there and get to know the photographer, makeup artist, because they can also present you with other opportunities. Like you really, really have to be passionate. And sometimes there's really long hours. When you do fashion shows, man, you have an early call time. You spend most of the day waiting or in hair and makeup, and then you have a show all night. And if you have back-to-back -back fashion shows, it's that every day. I mean, I mean, it's just so much. And the photo shoots take all day as well. It's not as easy and glamorous as it looks. But because they make it look so good and glamorous, that's why they're great. That's why they're there. Because they have the drive and determination. There's a lot of rejection in this thing. Rejection is a major part of this industry. In general, sometimes if they don't like how your body fits the clothes, too tall or too short, whatever it is, there's tons of rejection. You gotta be able to handle it. You gotta keep going and know what you want with this. Being a model is more than just a pretty face. It takes correct measurements, determination, passion, and you have to know how to face rejection. If you have all three of those, then hey, you got a good shot at modeling. I think it's so funny, like people will just tell me how like, yeah, people always tell me I should be a model, I always wanna try it. Sometimes it really messes people up. I mean, people get their self-esteem screwed up and they start trying to lose weight to, for this like dream that they don't really want. They just want it because of how cool it looks or because it sounds great to say that you're a model, but it's really just something you do. It doesn't define you as a person. These are just my top three things that I think. What do you think are the top three reasons why someone is a model and why they're not a model? Post it in the comments below and let's have a discussion about it. All right, see you guys next week. Deuce.